Naro and Yamonama lived at the beginning of time. Yamonama, the beautiful one, also lived then. They had a house just like that one over there. Yamonama's house was like that one there. Naro's house was like that one over there. Leha's house was a short distance away from theirs. They were brothers. Hoya Yoma and Hore Doyoma came to their village to seek a husband. They arrived at dawn when Yamonama was away. There, from that direction. They strolled casually around the village, looking for a handsome husband. The villagers asked to themselves, who are these strange women? To whom do they belong? The women went over to Naro's house and entered. They sat together in a hammock, like this. They both sat in the same hammock. As they were sitting there together, there were children watching them. Naro's wife said to the children, go to the garden and fetch your father quickly. The children scurried off. Naro, the smelly one, had cleared a garden called Tokobunasiwe. Yamonama was also making his garden at some distance from Naro. Reha, their skinny brother, was over there working in his garden. Naro had cleared his garden nearby. The children ran to Naro. Father, Father, some strange women have just arrived. They just went into your house. Naro thought aloud. Hmm, they want me, no doubt. He whistled happily and trotted home, becoming quite horny as he thought about the two new women. He rushed home and went into his house, whistling excitedly. Sweaty and smelly, he grabbed a post and swung back and forth in front of the women, whistling. His oppressive stench wafted into the women. They plugged their noses. Naro called out, Mother, did you feed these women yet? No, she whined. Naro then ripped a piece of flesh from his thigh. 